Hello guys, welcome back to another uh, video. Uh, this In this video I'm gonna uh, continue showing you some um, cool uh, events using uh, the click function or after we click the um, ID that we want, whatever ID we want. So we can use also this click event for uh, hyperlinks, okay? Uh, not uh, only for uh, buttons, okay? So, for example, I could put here um, a link and uh, select the link and when clicked, go to whatever page we want to, okay? Um, so, but uh, I'm using a button now and um, uh, as you can see, we uh, save uh, some code, JavaScript code, with uh, instead of using on click here, we use the click function, okay, with jQuery, and then do whatever we want with it, okay, when we click it. So, uh, I show you how to hide um, the div, this div here, and now I'm going to show you, let's put a line break here, and um, Let's say this. Okay, now what I'm going to show you how to do is whenever we click the button is to introduce a new text. Okay, so substitute su substitute testing for another text that we want to. Okay, um, or okay, let's do that first. Later I'm going to show you how to do that also without nothing in the diff so let's see we have let's take this hide out and what I do here is div one dot and remember and JavaScript we use the inner HTML equal to something so instead of this in jQuery what we use it's just HTML simple as that okay and parenthesis and inside the parenthesis the text that we want so hello um, semicolon let's see if it works let's open this in Chrome okay there it is when I click it perfect okay uh, simple as that so I can also uh, let's take the testing out here let's save this and let's refresh okay we don't have nothing if I click this hello appears okay perfect um, now I'm going to use a new trick which is this one here which is toggle uh, and the speed okay so I showed you the hide event and this is the toggle event and this is a lot um, useful for you okay you'll see why let's run this in Chrome okay so when I click it disappears and if I click again it appears again okay so it's a lot uh, useful for for you for your applications because you can either hide it or um, show it okay um, the hide only hides okay the hide event only hides it and if you click again it doesn't show so with toggle you can hide it and then show it okay and this of course is the speed you want so we have 500 I can put a little less let's put 200 Okay, and let's go here, refresh. Okay, it's a lot, uh, this is um, a lot faster, okay? So it takes uh, less time to, to do it, okay? If we type um, a thousand, it's going to be slower, okay? let's refresh there it is you see perfect okay this is how you use toggle uh, you guys have 
I'm not going to show you all the events you can use, okay, um, or animations, but you can go to jQuery, um, the jQuery site website, and you have there in the docom in the documentation you have all the uh, events you can use. Okay, you have a lot of events you can use and cool animations. Okay. Okay, guys, I'm going to show you now that we are talking uh, uh, about the toggle event. I'm going to show you how you can um, do, for example, uh, as you saw probably in a lot of websites, um, when you have, for example, a link and you click it and it shows the description or the, the news, the extended description of the news of it or something like that. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So the first thing we have to create is let's take the input type button out. Okay. And in here, let's create href equals uh, hash. And in here, let's say mm, news of of today okay so now we create an ID for the href the ID is going to be uh, let's say link okay so in here we have to type the link okay because is the select the selector um, that we want to call uh, which is link uh, when I click okay so obviously when I click this link we will not going to be sent anywhere because I just put the a hash in here and the div uh, if I let's run this first let me see how it's going okay so we have the link here news of today if I click disappears if I click it appears what I want is to, by default, when I come to the page, nothing appears, okay? And only show it when I uh, click it. So let me type here, let me take this out. Let me type here a paragraph. And in here... this is the news of today nothing special okay so let me put this in some um, h3 and close h3 okay save this perfect so um, to hide this by default, what we have to do in here is uh, to style it with CSS and it's going to be equal to display none. Okay? So now by default, this div will not display. So if I launch this in Chrome, we have news of today. If we click it, perfect. This is the news of today, nothing special. If we click again, it toggles up. Okay? So you see, uh, you can put more. Let me, let me uh, create another copy. Another type of news, paste. And sports news. Sports news can leave that as well. Let's type a paragraph here. Save it. And the ID of course is going to be uh, link. This is link one. This is link two. Link one, link two. You have to. Uh, we need different IDs. Okay. And here, let's type div two as well. Okay. Okay. Uh, 
I'm going to show you a simpler way. I was thinking about doing uh, uh, the whole thing and with the click function or event um, for each different um, for each different uh, link, okay, and then show the uh, re relative news to it whenever we clicked. But to do this, the whole thing in um, in here, we will need to use if statements, and uh, it's a little bit more advanced jQuery stuff that we will learn later on, but not for now. Okay. So I'm going to show you another simpler way how we can uh, refer to each one of the links um, to either show or toggle or hide the news. Okay. So instead of all this, let's take this out. And what we do here is we create a function, a function hide. And here we type element dot speed okay two parameters and this is as you can see is pretty much um, straightforward JavaScript okay what I'm doing what I'm doing here is creating functions that we will call with on click okay in here and we will need IDs for this and for this let's take this out so let's type here on click equals and here on click equals okay so in here we just type function hide and um, in here we type element as well and here we type hide speed and um, in here let's create another function which is the function and here we type toggle. Sorry, guys. It's not. It's not hide. It's toggle. And here is toggle as well. So we have our function ready. Let's call the function for each different um, link. So uh, toggle parenthesis the element the element is where is it div1 and comma and the speed is going to be 500 and here is toggle div2 comma 500 okay perfect let's say this and let's run this in chrome Here it is. So we have our two uh, news. If I click, okay, something's wrong. Let's go back. Okay, so let's try and see if this works. Let's run this in Firefox. Here it is. If I click, okay, nothing happens. Nothing happens. Um, so that's because we uh, have you. We have to take this out the document ready okay let's save it and now uh, it should work and there it is okay perfect click out okay so this is how you can use it uh, with a simpler um, with a more simple jQuery uh, function okay more straightforward as JavaScript okay using on click later on I'm gonna show you how to uh, do this the same thing without using the on click function in here directly okay we will do all in uh, jQuery uh, up here okay so see you guys in the next video and don't forget to subscribe bye